Alrighty, I'm gonna do a breathing sequence video for grasping sparrow sail. The first eight postures of William C.C. Chen 60 movements. <clears throat> I've been teaching to a few students this isolating those movements, doing them symmetrical. So doing up to single whip, we open up, we open up, step up, close, and then we repeat, and then we do the form uh, right-sided, or I guess actually left-sided, sorry, rather than doing it our primary right-sided. So we're doing it symmetrically, those first eight postures. And a few students have been asking about the breathing pattern related to this. It's kind of counterintuitive, counter related to um, maybe a movement under pressure or a movement under force. So like when you punch something, the, the force back, when you lift something, that weight that you're tying into. So here we're working with the body only and under the guidance of my teachers, this is the way that we teach the breathing method. It makes a lot of sense to me under usage, under experimentation, and it, it's a really simple concept. So what we do primarily is if we're doing something outward, there's inhalation and there's something inward, it's an exhalation. So there's a closing, an expelling of air, moving all the air through the chest and the abdomen and then refilling we coordinate that filling of the torso with an outward expansion and then as the torso abdomen and everything the compressed diaphragm comes up on the exhalation it's a closing now I know a lot of people teach it other than this but this is the way that I have learned and uh, it feels quite right. Um, so the other way would be just reverse it and practice it both ways, it doesn't matter. If there's not necessarily a right or wrong, I'm sure there was really good reason for someone to be exhaling. And like landing in the posture at that spot, in that moment, forming that shape, there's probably really good reason and it's fine. Uh, to practice that way, I don't believe you're going to hurt yourself. So, I'm trying to cultivate a certain way of going through the form, pressurization in the lower half of the body, tying myself into my lower structure I've coordinated or created. So, here's my structure, right? This is where our structure is. To tie into that, I'm, I fill this, uh, my core with pressure through my breath coming in diaphragm pressing down so I expel air before creating a posture and I inhale air as I'm creating the posture and so every moment before a posture is created which is preparation opening move forward off left forward off right roll back press push and then single whip, which seems to contain maybe you know, more than one move, looking rather than just push. Single whip encompasses all of this here. Um, those eight moves, every time before the posture or an outward movement is created, nearly every time I'm assuming here, that uh, the breath is expelled fully and then is taking in fully. So we go for ward off left, for example, right? We pivot out, fully expel, and then we inhale into the center and expand, coordinate the expansion outwardly with pressurization coming up from the foot and, and air filling into the uh, deepest into the lungs, diaphragm pressing down onto the abdominal, abdominal cavity. So,
fully expel here. That was inhalation as we roll back and then we fully expel our air into our right leg here. And then we press, inhale. Fully expel. So what I'm pointing out there, another one, is uh, that between the strong inhalation and the strong exhalation is a slow exhalation. Uh, breathing, like my, my teacher would say, like breathing out of a straw. That much air is like escaping. Now the mouth is actually closed and we're breathing with the nose during, during form as I practice it. So really it's, there's no, there's no, I'm just making these audible sounds to show you, to illustrate. So I'm gonna go through those postures after maybe saying one more thing here. You know what, we'll just go through the postures. <laughs> okay, so, preparation. Preparation tells us what we need to do. We are preparing for the next move, opening move, which is kind of setting the tone for what's about to happen. And then we start beginning our adult single leg postures. So before going into the form, pick it up lightly. Here we are. Be respectful toward yourself, towards the form, towards time being spent here. So pick it up lightly, pick it up with respect, respect here. And this is an idea I got from, um, from, from another teacher too, is to pick up the form as if it has, as if it matters, because it does. To you, apparently, you're practicing it, right? And then you put it down lightly too. So what that means is a certain a certain way of going about the form, a certain intentionality. So, back to breathing here. So to pick it up but respectfully, we do a lot of, I do a lot of opening of the body. opening the body, I close the body too, but what I'm getting at opening is um, going through the movement, the, the closing, and the opening, uh, the, restrict, the constriction and the, the releasing, the flexing and the, the release, uh, going through that, offering a chance and a space for the body, or for the mind to reside within the body. Um, these are all theories of their own that you probably make some videos on. But preparing for form before we step into preparation, make sure you feel loose. Tie into that structure. You know, feel out your body. Recognize, see where you are. One of the greatest things you do for yourself is actually be aware of your current state and where you are and not be lying to yourself. So we check in, feel the tensions, maybe work on them a little bit, okay? And then we go into form, and then after form, we also place it down lightly. And we, again, we sit here in that space we just created. We just created a space in which the mind went through the body, and we're gonna feel it out. We're gonna sit, sit there and take some time to feel it out. Breathing sequence. So, the V shape, starting in the step. I like to do a big inhalation, and an exhalation, like a strong one, like a sigh. Here, I inhale and I'm going to fill as I come into the right leg. I'm going to begin my stepping out, coordinating with a slow exhalation. As I travel past my center, I inhale and I fall back to center via an exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Fully exhale. Inhale. Stepping out. Inhale. 
Inhale there. Slow exhale. Fully exhale. Inhale. There's one off right. You continue around. You begin your exhale. Fully exhale into the back leg. Roll back. Inhale. Exhaling, front leg, fully exhale, inhale, back leg, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale as you're stepping out, inhale, inhale, open up. So we inhaled up to this point, so we open up, we start our exhale. Fully exhale, inhale. Exhale. Let's do that again. In the V shape. Exhale, fully exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, arms up, exhale, inhale, exhale, fully exhale, inhale, begin your exhale. Your exhale, fully exhale, inhale. Begin your exhale, fully exhale, roll back. Inhale and roll back, come into right leg, exhale, press. That's inhale. Back leg, begin your exhale, fully exhale. Back leg, exhale, inhale, pick up. Exhale into the right leg. Inhale as you press out, push up the arm, hang it there in that space. Step out, inhale. I'll show you that again. So we inhale as we press this out, we exhale. Inhale, the arms up. And we continue the inhalation to bring around our wrist our foot. Begin our exhale. Fully exhale. Inhale. So, step out of the form a little bit lighter than I did there. I'm here to present a message. The video is getting a little bit long. Uh, last thing I want to say is that during the form is that there is especially whenever presenting it in a certain way, teaching it, it's that there is a purposeful performativeness of it. So here I am, right, I'm kind of exaggerating. Right, a little bit exaggeration, also trying to adhere to some principles, but I'm, I'm making very audible, loud breath sounds so that you can tell what's happening there. And then also, uh, I'm trying to make the moves visible as to when there's a strong, like releasing the fora, an inhalation and a creation of the shape. So the breath always goes into the center. All of my students know of this, breathing in. You want to feel some expansion in the back. On the expansion, we coordinate an outward movement. On exhale. It's really easy to feel the exhale and how the arms once drop. A little bit harder to feel the... A little bit harder to, to tie the, the outward expansion with, um, with, with the breath. But if you just... And how the posture drops through a sigh, we're reversing that. Go through the opening and closing, and uh, and that's where a lot of the health benefits of Tai Chi are going to be coming from, I believe. 
Uh, I'm going to wrap the video here, been a little long. Hopefully my students have gained something from this, something that they can uh, take back, take, keep with them after, after my departure here in Wisconsin. Uh, I appreciate you all, especially you, Ron, Maggie, hopefully you made it this far in the video, and hopefully this breathing sequence helps you.